explore the topic of the genome. So what is the genome? The genome is the entire genetic material of an organism. And within a genome, there are lots of levels of organization. So at one of the lowest levels, you've got DNA. So DNA stands for deoxynucleic acid, deoxyribose nucleic acid, and it's a double helix polymer, which means that it is a polymer, which is a molecule made up of many subunits, and it is made up of two strands, which forms a twisted ladder shape known as the double helix. Genes are a small section of DNA. And these code for a sequence of amino acids, which combine to give to make a specific protein. So amino acids are the building blocks of a protein and genes, which are sections of DNA, code for those amino acids, which code for the protein. Long strands of DNA are coiled up to form chromosomes. So chromosomes contain many genes. In human body cells, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes one of each pair coming from each parent. So a cell will have 46 chromosomes in total, which are organized into 23 pairs. So let's recap that organization of genetic material. So the nucleus of eukaryotic cells contains chromosomes made of DNA molecules. Each chromosome contains a large number of genes and each gene tells how a specific protein should be made. And within that body cell, you have 46 chromosomes for humans. In 2003, the Human Genome Project was completed. Researchers had successfully studied the entire human genome. Since then, extensive research has been carried out, resulting in an enormous increase in our understanding of the genome. So what can we learn from the Human Genome Project? So we can identify genes linked to different disorders, allowing those at risk to make informed lifestyle decisions based on the known risk factors. It also improves our understanding of the causes of inherited disorders and how we should be treating them. And we can also investigate human evolutionary history including how humans have migrated in the past by looking at where the people are and what sort of genes they have and also the genes in the human fossils. So the Human Genome Project had a role in tackling cystic fibrosis, which is a recessive disorder um, which causes a buildup of mucus in the lungs and various other problems. So the knowledge we've gained from the Human Genome Project and subsequent research has helped us to identify the cystic fibrosis genes and has allowed those carrying it to be made aware. And it can also further our understanding of the disorder and how we should be treating it. So let's have a recap of what the key features of the genome were. So we've got genes, which is a small section of DNA coding for the sequence of amino acids which combine to make a specific protein. And then we've got DNA, which is a polymer made up of two strands which forms a double helix shape. And then chromosomes, which contain lots of genes and is a coil, coiled up DNA. And there are 46 of these in human body cells are organized into 23 pairs. So if you can remember, a gene is a section of DNA, but there could be fragments of DNA that are smaller than a gene. So if you're thinking about is a gene bigger than DNA, the question is like asking whether a city or a community is bigger. They're kind of the same depending on how you define them. <laughs>